Uh, John, uh, at lock, um, we need to give Aston until to, to prove fitness. Uh, Aston will um, get through today, so yeah, we're, we're quite uh, optimistic. Very optimistic. Right. Yeah. So yeah, Aston will be on the bench and Eli will miss us. Sorry, yes, that's correct. <laughs> John, nice, nice to have the continuity that you've enjoyed the last few weeks going into such an important game. Yeah, I think it's um, cohesion is really important, uh, and the only way you can get that is through continuity of, of, of players. I think it gives the players confidence as well. Um, it brings familiarisation. I think everyone becomes a, a lot more intuitive as a result of the, you know, the same people uh, um, you know, playing week after week. Um, but in saying, in saying that, they also realise that there's some guys pushing hard from behind now, which is you know, starting to create some healthy competition, which is always good in a, in a, in a player group. Uh, John, happy to find a player 23 um, within the match test. What, um, what, what difference or what dynamic does it bring about to you to in, in the way you want to approach the game itself to have an extra prop on the, on the bench? Yeah, I must admit, I, I find 22 a strange um, development decision. You know, in, in in the current world that we we live in, and in rugby, you know, been 23 for a long time, so we've missed out on a huge opportunity to give another prop, um, you know, 35 minutes uh, e e each week. So yeah, it's really good that uh, they made a decision, you know, this week that we can do that, and that yeah, it clearly allows you to to um, introduce an, another player, you know, like a at a vital time in the, in the, in the performance and um, you know it allows you to uh, uh, maintain a, a tempo and control a, an area of set piece you know it saves you having to I guess survive uh, with a fatiguing player we've been extremely fortunate that you know somebody like Piers Goldman who's who's been huge in this competition how he's endured 80 minutes week after week um, and still been able to maintain his accuracy um, as best he can at scrum time, you know, to me it's been phenomenal. Um, but uh, you know that will take its toll over over time. So at least we can get the, the most out of um, Pierre in this performance, and then in, inject um, uh, Lizo uh, when the, when the time's right. John, talking about the the forward effort, um, how, how important is that going to be on Saturday against the Sharks? Yeah, you're going to you're going to have to nail a set piece, no doubt about that. Um, which should be the case every week as, as well. Um, you know, if you nail your set piece, then you you can uh, you can you know, can sort of put your stamp on the on the on the match. You know, if you do not nail your set piece and it's inconsistent, then you know, you, you we, we might have to win ugly. Um, that's okay if we have to win ugly as well. So, um, but certainly it's finals time. You know, set piece um, um, is, is critical. But again, the mood in the camp is like. Go chess, final storm. Jittery? Um, not really. Um, I think it's the same as every week. And um, there's not a lot of motivation needed. I think the guys are up for the challenge and yeah, we're looking forward to the weekend. John, uh, finals and semi-finals is not about scoring tries, the m most tries or bonus points or anything like that. W will, you, will you keep the, the same game plan or can we expect maybe a more conservative approach? Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter how you get there, does it? So stats mean nothing. <laughs> it's um, you know we're all in this together now, four teams. So ultimately, it's on the on the day. Um, I'm big on uh, less is more you know, when it comes to, to tactics. Um, but yeah, we we do have something up our sleeve, um, which we believe is will um, allow us to apply pressure um, in a, in a different way. So uh, yeah, I guess the the. The difficult thing for us is the challenge is that you, you kind of don't know what you're going to get because we're capable of, of anything um, because we'll go to all areas of space um, through through our skill set uh, and, and decision making. And the players have got confidence in that area and they've got a license as well. So it really just comes down to the decision making of what's in front of us. John, uh, I'm um, how is it difficult is it to prepare for a semi-final when, for the most part of the season, the Bulls have been written off? And I remember asking you after the Western Province game, is reaching the semi-finals a possibility? We're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
it's a new it's a new ball game, eh? like um, so it requires just us sticking to our process, you know, staying on task. As Bergs has just said, you know, like it's not about uh, celebration. It's not a, it's it's actually about controlling your emotion and making sure that you're focused on on, on the, the job at hand. So it's been a big week about you know, getting clarity in your role. And naturally, if you, um, if you've got clarity in your role and you're confident, then you then you can bring the physicality. Um, it's also about making sure that the players get the optimal training load as well, so that we're we're nice and sharp going into performance. Um, Whoever changed it from a five o'clock kickoff to two thirty kickoff, uh, <laughs> I, I bless them because uh, it's going to be fast. It's going to be blue skies, and there's going to be lots of quick rap ball. So uh, that that suits us. Yeah. John, um, given the, uh, how comfortable, how well the, the guys have played their best rugby when they've played expansively, when they've when they've um, thrown the ball around a bit, how much of an advantage is it that that you guys go to Durban and? In a way, you guys can just play with freedom because all the pressure's on the Sharks, or most of it. They the hope they at home, they top the log, they've got all the expectation. Yeah, I mean they do have their their own pressures because you know they've they've set a standard in this competition. Uh, the rest of us have been chasing them. Um, they got there early, and they deserve getting there early. So, yeah, that's 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 I guess the the nice part of the challenge. So. Uh, um, I think at the moment we we are very intuitive in the way that we're playing, um, and uh, to me that's a, that's a good sign. Um, you know, the gain line is going to be extremely important because that's a big strength of the Sharks, and so you know, uh, defensively we're going to yeah going to have to uh, be clean in that area and strong in that area as well. Um, so. Um, yeah, it's 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 going to be an intriguing contest because both teams have got uh, got different strengths, I guess. So, um, you know, and ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the day. Um, I think start uh, starts are, are, uh, are very important in finals at finals time as well. So the start of the match, the energy, um, how you initiate your your game, how you get into it, um, how you're able to to sustain that pressure as well uh, is important and. We back our finishes as well. You know, that's something we've been working on. Something quite new to the club and to the guys about how important they are to uh, to our eighty minutes. You guys have <coughs> been there before last year. Um, probably even then, um, even though you're playing at home, a lot of people would have thought that Western Province would have beaten you guys. Um, how do you first of all handle the, the underdog, underdog tag? Um, and have you said something to even Cancel? <laughs> Um, no, I think we had the underdog tag the whole the whole season, so um, not focusing on that. Um, like I said, um, we're still going to go out this weekend and trust the process, try to stick to it, and hopefully it will bring the uh, the result. And yeah, um, hopefully Ivan can can grab one again this weekend. John, do you feel that momentum is an overrated thing, considering that the Bulls have won two games comfortably ahead of the semi final, yet the Sharks are on the receiving end of what has an unexpected defeat last week. Yeah, I don't think momentum uh, is totally our, our momentum is n is not totally packaged just in two two games. I think it's been coming for about five weeks now. So you know, um, you know whether you get you know the right outcome, um, it's the performance. So I think that you know there's been co probably pretty close to four to five weeks of uh, of sort of performance that are, that has been upward, um, and so that that that's that's. That's a that's good belief. Um, that's a good deposit to, to have. Um, hey, we just got to focus on what we're what we're good at, and we just got to um, apply pressure through that, and um, see whether see whether the sharks can withstand it. And if they can withstand it, we'll be, you know, good on them. If they can't withstand it, then then it'll go our way. So that's that's just the way the game works, you know. So who gets in first um, is 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 really really important. Yeah. Uh, um, the last, the last uh, knockout game you guys played was the final, obviously last year. Uh, didn't go your way. What, what have you guys learnt, and, and what would you do differently this time around? I think we matured since then. I think last year um, we started off with a bang, playing rug uh, running rugby, and then we almost tried to change it. Um, coming into the end of the season, trying to play a more conservative kicking game, and I think we didn't vary it good at times, and I think that cost us especially in the end against the Cheetahs. 
Um, like Coach said, also we, we have a different plan this weekend. And I think it's going to be a big forwards, forwards game and a big t uh, territorial game. And I think the Sharks have a good um, kicking game. So are we disable that and putting pressure on them is going to be key for us this weekend. Jordan, someone told you seven weeks ago when you took over um, that you'd be in a semi-final. First of all, would you believe that person? And secondly, what, what is the one thing that you can attribute to the side that has changed, um, that has made them give themselves a chance to, you know, again, to, to, to come close to winning the Carrot Cup? Yeah, um, I guess uh, if you're a betting man and you're just a layman watching both teams, you'd, you wouldn't have put money on us and you'd put money on the Sharks. Um, I'm not a betting man, so... Um, but in saying that, I think the players need to be committed for... Um, yeah, I've acknowledged before to the club and about being open to change, but the players need to be committed for the way that they have been open to, to change. Um, it's been a test of their character as well. You know, the one we took on the chin against VP, you know, like... Uh, it wasn't nice to receive uh, the loss the way that we received it because they worked so bloody hard. Um, but, you know, we're a testament to their character. They've stayed on task and they've, they've individually seek to get better. Um, they chase their, their working day. They look to nail their work and their working day. And I think, you know, the, you know it's, it's apparent that we've, you know, we've, we've changed our training methodology and it's, you know, it's a, a little bit stronger. Um, you know, players now have a reason um, uh, every day, uh, a reason to uh, to be more more professional as a result of the standards. And I think they're starting to realise that it's a very supportive culture as well, um, and that's also comforting for them to come into to each day. So, yeah, it's um, at the end of the day, the the athlete, the professional rugby player, determines you know the the behaviours within the club, and uh, they also determine. The trust that is built, and, and the, the, they've created trust amongst themselves, amongst all the adversity, and and to me that, that that's huge strength. You know, we we acknowledge on the weekend there's going to be you know a fair bit of uh, uh, adversity to absorb as well. You know, you, you know, you get a yellow card or somebody slips early, and, and you're on behind the scoreboard. You've just got to learn to fight, and so maybe hopefully that all the situations that we've been in uh, this year. Um, individually and collectively, that um, we use that as strength on the on the weekend, uh, coming coming into finals time. John, when you came here, you said you're not the not the miracle man or whatever. But a lot of people turn around and say to you, you've probably done a miracle with the side uh, on a personal level. What what, what do, you, do you have you thrived in the pressure that's been on you and on, on the players? Yeah, I love coaching. I love challenges. Um, I back my methodology. Yeah, I really believe in it, um, and I stand by it. Um, what else is there? Really, at the end of the day, it's it's not it's not actually not about me. Um, I'm just playing a leading role in terms of trying to guide the and and, and mentor um, the athletes. And really, ultimately, I guess my responsibility is to co create co cohesion. Uh, this is not our destination, by the way. Um, the style of rugby uh, that we're playing has to become sustainable in Super Rugby. And if it's good enough, early enough, you know, in this competition, great. But um, we, we also acknowledge that we can get so much better. And we're excited by it. I mean, you just only have to look at the energy out on the training field and the, and the health of, of the athletes uh, as a result of what we've, uh, how we've gone about things. Um, some of these blokes have had 30 weeks in a row. And, uh, the, you know, they've still got a smile on their, or they've now got a smile on their face a lot more and, and they're enjoying their, their, their coming into work and getting their work done, which to me is is more pleasing than, than anything, seeing smiles on, on people's faces. Okay, time for you to go for your bonus. What has John brought in that's changed how you guys have played? Um, I think he, he just started with the small things. Um, I think the first two weeks, you know, um, we professional athletes been playing for a while and then he comes in and he does something little with changing the way we pass and catch you know just uh, focusing on the small detail and fixing that and then i think that just um, um almost flowed into the rest of the of the aspects of the of the game and um, i think he made us think about the game more than talking about it john you've you've just con uh, confirmed what you've said previously more than once that you 
your aim is not only to look at the Curry Cup this year. Regardless of what happens on Saturday, whatever the outcome is, it would be a situation of you ticking a box and saying, we've arrived at what I wanted, or um, is it still this, this hunting into not being perfect yet? We're on our way. Okay. Uh, and we've got, got the foundations uh, in place. So, so whatever happens uh, to us, um, and clearly yeah, we've got to make a choice you know, whether we want to turn up, turn up from work on Monday, uh, you know, whatever happens is that we have got you know additional work to do. But the, the great thing about it is that we've got confidence on uh, how we will go about things. So, and I think the players have got trust on on the, on the fact that they will uh, they've got better in competition. Um, just imagine twelve weeks of pre season before we go back into competition. How much better we can be individually and eventually collectively. And just the depth that we've created in the club as a result of having, you know, pretty close to, you know, 23 guys coming from under 21s in this in this campaign. Um, so, you know, you know, for those of who don't understand, the junior system is extremely important to, to to our club. Um, we couldn't have survived um, in Super Rugby this year or Curry Cup without our without our junior system. So, um, and this is the we're talking the top end here, but. Um, this, this particular methodology ain't just going to go into the top end. This is 21s, 19s, Craven Weeks. You know, it's about upskilling. You know, our 2,300 coaches in the in the province as well, and um, doing it our way. So, ultimately, we want to create more fruit, and uh, that just creates healthy competition, and eventually, a club that uh, that um, uh, becomes consistent and sustainable in, in performance. John, um, a lot of knockout games have been won uh, through pressurising the, the opposition halfbacks. Um, obviously, the Sharks have a bit of experience at scrum half, but uh, how, how important is it that you guys keep a, a young guy like Kerwin Bosch? I mean, obviously, he's hell of a talented, but still young and hasn't played that many knockout games. How, how important is it that you guys keep a lot of pressure on him? Yeah, that'll come through you know, whether game line's won. That'll come through whether they get easy territory. Um, if he, you know, if if the if we command the front front end of the field, well then, um, it's, you know, we're guaranteed that they're going to kick a bit of ball back. So the, um, uh, we look forward to that. Uh, yeah. So no, he, there'll be pressure on him. Um, he's capable to run as well on front foot, but it's not a it's not a um, something that he's totally uh, comfortable with. Um, but if he gets um, continued pressure, you know, from 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 the line speed and and dominant tackle, <coughs> and he cuts back in. Then yeah, you know, like that uh, in, in, in itself will allow us to build pressure on him. Uh, but as you know, he can sit in the pocket. Yeah, he sits deep, so you know with territory, you know he can kick anything in the you know 45, 50, 50 out. So um, and the, and the middle rucks are also you know, he's quite capable of seeing behind the middle ruck. Um, yeah, so you know if he if he's got his radar on, we'll we'll be in a bit of trouble. But um, it's not down to one man, um, but he'll, he'll be presented opportunities, uh, no, no doubt about that. Uh, but it's also important for us to put him under pressure. Um, John, um, tough decision between Duncan and Travis on the wing, and why Why did you decide to, to start with Travis? Um, Travis has uh, had about four or five weeks into, um, since he's come back. Uh, his metrics have been... Uh, uh, outstanding, um, and his performance was uh, was excellent. But, yeah, and that's that was his first game. Um, Duncan's had eight weeks in a row. He's probably the strongest he's ever been. You know, since being in the in the club of uh, having healthy competition. You know, if you're absent for a week, it it, uh, it can be costly because you know guys are are wanting to make sure that they do their job and cement their place within the, within the group. Um, I think right at the minute that um, if there's a subtle difference between the two, is Travis is a, a probably more confident defensive winger uh, than than where where Duncan at Duncan's come a long way, um, and I think you know uh, uh, there's not a lot between them, but that's where where I where I believe um, uh, Travis has got, um, got got yeah got got a, a better skill set and, and also decision making in that area as well. He's leaner as well, Travis. So he looks a lot leaner. 
than when I first come. So, uh, um, man, he pushed himself yesterday and fa- uh, the day before and fast today. Um, he was he was heaving. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's difficult to leave uh, good players out, but we've got a strong bench as well, huh? Um, Duncan covers fifteen as well in the, in, in in our mix. Uh, John, uh, what do you expect from the Sharks? Um, set piece, uh, you know, scrum and line out clearly. Um, they'll want um, they'll want to earn uh, territory um, easily. Um, they'll kick. They'll come around the corner. They have been for eight years since I've been in the country. <laughs> um, they'll test us down the short side, um, where they got us in uh, at Loftus. And, yeah, they'll probably try and bully us as well. Uh, but they can be impatient as well. So uh, that's up to us to create that impatience. Is that what you said to your defence, John? Beg your pardon? Is that what, what you'll be talking about to your defence? Um, yeah, uh, we're... We've got another session this afternoon, haven't we? So, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> pretty much uh, what we've got to deal with, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty obvious, eh? Like, yeah, so.